What's up, guys? Miss Donna, what's up? Hi there, Mireya. Hello. Hello, everybody. We got Abraham. What's going on, dude? Angelica, you you have a new hairstyle. That looks good. Mr. Herman, hello. Karim in the house. Hi. Hannah Leon hiding from us in the darkness. Damian, what's up? Emmanuel. Peace, Sofia. La frente de Sofia. <laughs> <laughs> Christina Blas, hello. Kid Sally in the house. Hi there. Hi there, Frida. Hi there, Sandy. The crew is here. Well, today we are starting chapter 10. It's our final chapter. What, what, what? We're almost finished with our year. We will also talk about the test. You guys just took a test. We will talk about difficult questions on it. Are you guys ready? Ready for action? Good. Because I am. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Iniciar. Iniciar la presentación. All right. Hey, Mireya, would you like to lead us on the difficult questions from the test? Sure. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. You guys, this is one of them. It says, I hope I get this month. I need the money. So let's see the options, okay, together and then you vote. Engaged. I hope I get engaged this month. Hmm. Prepared, generous, and promoted. Now, engaged is not an option, right? Because unless, like Andrew said, if you were getting engaged to Carlos Lim, probably that would work, but otherwise, no. <laughs> so, which is the correct answer according to you? We have two, three, or four. Okay, Hannah is already voting. Good, Dana, Natalia, everybody. Good, you got it. Number four, promoted. You sh with a promotion comes a larger salary, right? a bigger salary. So very good. Now this question, that man very polite to us. You're right. He hasn't, has he? Okay. Now, this one, it, you have to be careful because we have two has. This is hasn't and then has. The last one is the tag. And the tag is always the opposite signal to what it should go right here. So if it is positive right here, what are we expecting right here? Negative. Negative, right? That means that this first he hasn't is just emphasizing the, the answer. So if, that's why he says he hasn't, has he? So which one is the correct answer? Elim we eliminate number one because it has nothing to do. And number two isn't nothing to do with the question. So we have three and four. And yeah, got it. Number four, it has to be negative. Hasn't been. Mm -hmm. It's emphasizing it right here. And then the tag changes the signal. Good job. This one says, my daughter is very smart. She can count to 10 by herself. This is a mom who is very proud of her little girl because she can count to 10. 
Uh -huh. Now, what this is an emphasis, right? The person is making emphasis, but what are we going to base it on the is or on the can? Do you remember the rule of the emphasis? The second one, right, is based on the second one, not the first sentence, but the last one. So she can, that's the correct answer. Good job. Mm -hmm. This one says, that was the horror movie we've ever seen, wasn't it? Okay, that was the shocked horror movie. Mm. No, because this is something that is produced in a person. I can say I was shocked after watching that movie. All of this, the person can be shocked or frightened or surprised. But in order to, to give those feelings, it had to be shocking, most frightening, and most surprising. Okay, so it does not apply to a person here. So we're talking about the movie. So the correct answer is the scariest. La película más espeluznante de terror que hemos visto en nuestra vida. Mm -hmm. The scariest. Is it clear why? See, ¿Sí? mm -hmm. si hubiera dicho shocking, this that was the shocking, the most shocking movie, yes. The most frightening movie, yes, an option, or the most surprising movie, but not if it just says shocked, okay? So Good. I wrote some things here. Yo, yo escribí algunas cosas aquí. Mm -hmm. En español, la terminación ada o ado sería como shocked or frightened, sorprendido. But over here, surprising would be sorprendente. Sorprendido, sorprendente. So that's like the big difference. Mm Now, this one says, they, quite a few problems. Who remembers what that expression means? Quite a few. Anybody? Quite a few, quite a few. Unos pocos. Más bien, bastantes, quite a few, bastantes. Mm -hmm. They, quite a few problems the year before, hadn't they? Now, look at the tag here, they. So, the answer, most of you got number, number three in the answer. They had had quite a few problems the year before because you read the year before. That's how we had learned it. And, uh -huh. and, but if you got number three or number four in your answers, either one, we are going to give four points for everybody. Okay, because this we noticed Andrew and I after looking at this sentence here that it was confusing. So both of these answers will be correct. You will get the four extra points for that. They had quite a few problems the year before, hadn't they? And they had had quite a few problems the year before, hadn't they? They would be both correct. Mm -hmm. All right, Andrew. You could take uh, attendance. Uh -huh. Everybody smile. Got it. Got it. All right. Well, let's talk about our verse of the week. Proverbs, they are like dichos mexicanos. 
Mucha verdad en pocas palabras. Here it is for this week. The Lord detests, detests. We have seen this word. What is this word in Spanish? Detestar. Detestar. You got it. Now, who remember another way, another synonym for the tests that we learned in one of the previous um, proverbs when we were talking about scales? Up first. Oh, you okay. you yes, of course. Great, Good. Damian, you remember. So the Lord detests the sacrifice of the wicked. Wicked. Una persona malvada, una persona perversa. But the prayer, la oración, the prayer of the upright, una persona justa, pleases him. Le agrada. The Lord detests the sacrifice of the wicked, but the prayer of the upright pleases him. Bueno, este proverbio, en su contexto, habla de, de un acto religioso. Sacrificio era muy común eh, hace... Uh, Muchos años que la gente sacrificaban animales en el templo. Y este sacrificio era una muestra exterior de tu devoción a Dios. Y bueno, um, muchos pensamos que, wow, si tú haces un acto exterior religioso, bien, está bien. Pero no, no es siempre así. De hecho... Uno de los primeros sacrificios en, en la Biblia, en la humanidad, fue rechazado por Dios. No sé si les suenan Caín y Abel. Los nombres Caín y Abel. Caín era el primer asesino en la historia de la humanidad. Y él mató a su hermano. Cuando Caín ofreció un sacrificio a Dios, Dios dijo, no, no lo quiero, no lo quiero. ¿Por qué? Porque muchas veces los actos exteriores que hacemos pueden ser como fachadas. Pero lo que uh, importa a Dios más que tu fachada es lo que tú traes adentro. El, tu corazón, tu actitud, quien tú realmente eres. Ahora, hacer sacrificios no está mal, está bien. Um, demostrar tu, tu devoción a Dios, pero tienes que ser íntegro. Quien tú pareces y quien tú eres deben ser la misma cosa. Uh, una historia, para mí fue chusca, no sé si una historia chusca para ustedes, pero para mí fue muy interesante. Yo estaba en el copiloto de una combi. Yo estaba yendo a, a algún lado y el señor de la combi Agarró su celular y contestaba y estaba hablando. Y yo podía intuir que él estaba vendiendo algo contrabando, algo ilegal, algo robado. No sé qué era, no sé exactamente, pero era como que chueco. Y él estaba hablando en su trato. Luego colgó, bajó su vidrio, echó su cabeza fuera de la ventana y gr gritó a alguien, quítate y bla, bla, bla. Y, y gritó a la gente. Todo gruñón este señor con vista y manejaba con un loco. Y luego pasamos una iglesia y él hizo el símbolo y se fue. Yo pensé, no manches. O sea, no hay nada mal en hacer tú, 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 tú. Está bien, pero totalmente desconectado. Su, su fachada y quien realmente es, o sea, nada que ver. Y para mí fue, fue muy chusco. Uh, no soy nadie para uh, evaluar a este hombre o ni condenarlo. Solamente Dios nos dio. Eso es trabajo de Dios. Pero lo que sí sé es que yo no quiero ser una persona que aparenta una cosa y luego hago otra. Entonces, ahí les va. Ahí les va. Proverbs 15.8 The Lord detests the sacrifice of the wicked, 
but the prayer of the upright pleases him. I hope you guys can please the Lord. All right, well, we are in chapter 10. We have six lessons. Oh my gosh, six lessons and we're done. We're finished. Woohoo! And I have good news. This chapter is review. It is review. Es un repaso. We have like three weeks. Tres semanas de puro repaso antes del examen final. How cool is that? We will review. All right. We have a picture here. So here's a boy and he's talking to a girl. All right, I, I think he might be in love. I don't know about you, but I think he is in love. Now look at what he is imagining. He is imagining a picnic, beautiful, fun. Look at all the food he made. Look at how he is imagining this girl. She's so happy. All right, that is the expectation. But what is the reality? All right, we need a prediction. ¿Quién puede predis, predecir? The prediction. What do you think, Hannah Leon? Will they have a picnic? No. No? No. <laughs> ah, well, let's read. Let's see. Let's see here. We need a boy. We need Abram. Abram Romero, you can be person A. And we need a girl. We need Sandy. You are person B. Abram and Sandy, please read the dialogue. And Abram, you are in love. So you have to read like a man who is in love. Abram, go. Would you like to go on a picnic with me today? I don't think so. Uh, to be honest, I really don't feel like going on a picnic today. I went on a picnic yesterday. That's too bad. I'm disappointed. I hope you understand. If I hadn't gone on a picnic yesterday, I'd be very happy to go on a picnic with you today. Of course, I understand. After all, I suppose you get tired of going on picnics if you went on picnics all the time. Oh, students. Oh my goodness, guys. First, broken engagements. Then breaking up. Then ghosting. Do you guys remember we talked about ghosting? Then a Dear John letter and now this? Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the, the sad stories. I think Side by Side just wants to make us sad. But uh, it is what it is. Sad stories. All right, Mireya, are you ready to break them up? Yep. All right, we're going to break them up. We'll do a little sad story here. All right, let's see. Do, 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 do. Breakout rooms, two. All right, guys, see you. All right, guys, this meeting is being recorded. Dun, dun, dun. Portense bien. All right, so before we continue, let's look at a phrase here. Get tired of. Get tired of in Spanish. That is. Um, estar harto de. Get tired of. Es cuando haces algo mucho, mucho, te fastidias. Yeah, maybe that would be a good one. Te fastidias de. 
All right. Well, let's do number one. See a movie. See a movie. We need a girl. We need Dana. We need a boy. We need Osiel. I'm sorry, Osiel, but we're going to reject you. <laughs> All right, Osiel, you can start. See a movie. Uh, would you like to see a movie with me today? I don't think so. To be honest, I really don't feel like seeing um seeing a movie today. Uh, I know. No, see ¿sí? or no? See, ¿Sí? okay. Seeing a movie today. I I saw a movie yesterday. That's too bad. I'm disappointed. I hope you understand. If I haven't seen a movie yesterday, I'd be very happy to see one with you today. Of course, I, I understand. After all, I suppose you get tired of seeing in a movie if you If you, oh my God, saw. If, if you saw all the time. Good job, guys. Wow, les dije, les dije, repaso. Estamos repasando muchas cosas. Look at this. Would you like to? So we have C. Feel like seeing. I saw, seen, see, seeing, and then this one, un, unreal conditional, saw, if you saw movies all the time. Wow, good job, Donna, Nociel, good job. All right, I'm going to ask everybody to read this. Girls, you're person B. Boys are person A. Boys, let's start. One, two, three. Would you like to What's see a movie, movie with me today? Would you like to see a movie with me? I don't think so. I don't think so. Like going to the mall today. Movie yesterday. That's too bad. That's too bad. That's too bad. That's too bad. I'm too smart. I hope you understand. Of course I 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 understand. If you saw the movie all the time. time. Good job, boys. We need Carol and Germán. Carol and Germán. We need to reject a girl this time. Carol, you're going to invite Germán to the mall. Plaza Américas. All right, Carol, you get to start. Would you like to go to the mall with me today? I don't think so. To be honest, I really don't feel like uh, going to be the mall today. I went to the mall yesterday. That's too bad. I'm disappointed. I hope you understand. If I hadn't gone to the mall yesterday, I'd be very happy to go to the mall with you today. Today. Of course I understand. After all, I suppose you'd get tired of going there if you went to the mall all the time. Woohoo! Good job, guys. Next one. We need, oh, we need, uh, Nathan, are you there? Uh, yes. All right, Nathan is person A. 
And Kitsali, you are person B. Um, would you like to take a walk in the park with me today? I don't think so. To be honest, I really don't feel like taking a walk in the park today. I took a walk yesterday. That's too bad. I'm disappointed. I hope you understand. If I hadn't taken a walk yesterday, I'd be very happy to take a walk with you today. Of course, I understand. After all, I suppose you'd get tired of taking a walk in the park if you uh, take a walk in the park all the time. Good job, y'all. Woohoo! Yeah, just remember on the last one, this is una condición no real if you took a walk. I think the most difficult ones are this one with if and last class. This one was pretty difficult, but you guys are doing really good. All right, we need two girls for the next one because I see a girl and a girl. We need Naomi and Angelica. Naomi, number four. Would you like to... I cannot, I'm sorry. <laughs> work out. Would you like to work out with me today? I don't think so. To be honest, I really don't feel like working out today. I worked yesterday. Work out yesterday. That's so bad. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope you understand. If I hadn't worked out yesterday, I'd be very happy to work out with you today. Oh, last one. <laughs> of course, I understand. After all, I suppose you'd get tired of working out at the gym if you worked all the time. Woohoo! Work out is a phrasal verb, verbo frasal, and it always means hacer ejercicio. Nunca se confunde con trabajar. Work out. So good job, girls. Another good thing you did that I want everybody to see. Ellas la, la pronunciaron así, worked. Muy bien. Todo el mundo, vamos a practicar worked. Everybody, microphones on. And let's say it two times really slowly. Go. Worked. 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 Three times really fast. Worked. 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 Good job. Worked out. Today, I worked out and I got hurt. I was lifting and my, my muscle here, it, it like, no se me lesioné. Ouch, I'm in pain. If I turn my head, it hurts. Ya soy ruco. What can I say? Number five, we need Aremi and Emmanuel. Aremi, your person A. Would you like to go bowling with me today? I don't think so. To be honest, I really don't feel like going bowling today. I went bowling yesterday. That's too bad. I am disappointed. I hope you understand. If I hadn't gone bowling yesterday, I would be very happy to go bowling with you today. 
Of course, I understand. After all, I suppose you'd get tired of going bowl bowling if you go bowling all the time. We're so close, so close. Can you try this one? Es una condición no real. If you gone? Went. Oh, that, sorry. If you went bowling all the time. Good job. Good job. All right, for number six, I think everybody has participated. But now I want to know, raise your hand if you were person A. Were you person A when you participated? Okay, we need Angelica, you will be person A, and Abraham, you'll be person B. All right, so we're changing. Angelica, person A, number six. And mm. this word, diner, se dice diner, y, y es un tipo de restaurante que sirve más o menos hamburguesas. Unas cuantas cosas más. Okay. Angelica. Would you like to have lunch at David's diner with me today? I don't think so. I don't feel like having lunch at Dave's dinner today. I I lunch at Dave's soon yesterday. That's too bad. I'm disappointed. Now the verb is have. So eso es el que vas a cambiar. Have. Go ahead, Abraham. Um, I hope you understand. If I hadn't... had lunch at... Dave's diner yesterday. Uh, I'd be very happy to lunch at Dave's dinner with you today. Of course, I understand. After all, I suppose you'd get tired of having lunch at Dave's if you had lunch at Davis all the time. Good job. Have, 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 have. Recuerden que have puede ser tener, puede ser haber, pero a veces es comer. Y en este contexto es comer. Comer la comida. Have lunch. Comer la comida. Okay. Number seven, ooh, who wants revancha? Who wants to go again? All right, I saw Ociel, he kind of moved a hand right there. <laughs> now, Ociel, you got rejected. You were person A, correct? All right, you'll be person B this time. And uh, we need a different person A, Ketsali. Person A, you and OCL drive around town. Ooh, that sounds like a fun date, driving around town. All right, take it away, kids, Ali. Would you like to drive around town with me today? I don't think so. To be honest, I really don't feel like driving around town today. I drove around town yesterday. That's too bad, I'm disappointed. I hope you understand. If I haven't driven uh, around town yesterday, I'd be, I'd be very happy to drive around town with you today. Of course I understand. After all, I suppose you'd get tired of 
driving around town if you drove all the time. Good job. All right, we're going to invent one. Invention. All right, so we need Carol, person A, and we need Naomi, person B. Carol, invent Naomi. Invite her to something, anything. I will start off. Uh, Carol begins. Would you like to to cook something with me? With me? Mm, I don't think so, to be honest. Uh, I really don't feel like cooking today. I cooked yesterday. That's too bad. I'm disappointed. I hope you understand. I hadn't, if I hadn't cooked yesterday, I'd be very happy to cook with you today. Of course, I understand. After all, I suppose you'd get tired of cooking if you cooked all the time. Good job. Okay, this is going to be a challenge, a memory challenge. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to go with all of you. All of you. Just use your memory. Are you ready? Would you like to play Nintendo with me today? Everybody, go. I don't think so. To be honest, to be honest I really don't feel like, I really don't feel like playing, playing, playing Nintendo, Nintendo today. today. I played, I played Nintendo, Nintendo yesterday. Nintendo yesterday. That's too bad. I'm disappointed. I hope you understand. If I hadn't played if I had yesterday, it, I would be very happy to play. play. Good job. I understand. After all, <laughs> um, you would get tired of playing Nintendo if you played Nintendo every day. Hey, good job, everyone. All right, give me just a moment. We have another activity, but I have to prepare it. Give me 30 seconds. 30 seconds, here we go. All right, guys, here we go. Let me get you back over here. We have a dialogue, right? Oh, no, don't look. Oh, no, I guess you can look. You can look, you can look. <laughs> All right, we have a dialogue here, but it is out of order. I need your help to put the dialogue in order. So read through this and tell me what you think is the first thing. The last one? This one? Yeah. Okay, let me move some of these, make some space. Mm -hmm. Just gonna go over here. Sorry guys. Okay, here we go. Yes, this is the first one. The first line is, Hey, would you like to play board games tonight? Good. And what is the second one? It depends. It depends. What game are you thinking of? Mm -hmm. 
¿Cómo se pronunciaba? Chess. 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 Yeah. Chess is ajedrez. Chess. Mm. Chess, Catan, Monopoly. You can decide which one. Okay, sounds fun. Good. I just don't feel like playing against. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dana cannot answer for the next one. Let me move these down. What is the next one? Yeah, me neither. I'm pretty tired of that one. Mm -hmm. Tired of. Hey, kiss tired of. Arto. Good job. All right. Girls, you make the invite. Boys, we will respond. Girls, go. It depends. depends. What, what game are you thinking of? What game are you thinking of? Okay. 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 Uh, all right, give me just a moment. I'm going to move these so our next class can figure them out. Okay. All right. All right. Good job, everyone. Oh. Do you guys know what Catan is? If you do not know Catan, I'm just gonna show you. This is the best board game. It is so much fun. And you can get it at Escala Morelia. It is this board game and I recommend it 100%. You should go have a Catan party with people. Okay, that's Catan. All right, back to the lesson. All right, well, there are different ways you can invite someone. You can say, would you like to? This is what we practiced. But you can also say, do you want to? Or how would you like to? Would you like to? Do you want to? How would you like to? So for you people inviting English speaking people on dates, now you know <laughs> different ways to ask them. <laughs> <laughs> Osiel says, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, that's the attitude. I love it, Osiel. Go get yourself a, a gringa girl. All right. Well, we are going to practice making some invitations in our next activity. So here are, here's the activity. Make the class a terrible invitation that you would say no to. Here's an example. Would you like to pick up dog poop in the park all afternoon? <laughs> and the class is going to say, no, thanks. I don't feel like picking up dog poop today. <laughs> okay, that is a terrible invitation. Now it is your turn. I will give you one minute. Think 
of your terrible invitation. Ready, think. Ten more seconds. Time. All right, we need to reject some invitations. All right, Kitsali, invite us. Would you like to go to the library today? Everybody? No, thanks. No, I don't feel, I don't feel like, like going, going to the library today. All right. Next, Aremi. I don't have one, but I'll, I'll try it. Try um, it. How do you say bucea? Snorkel. Uh, would you like to snorkel with sharks with me today? Everybody? Microphones? Thanks. I don't feel like snorkel. I don't feel like snorkel today. Thank you. Carol. Um, would you like to? Um, go to, how do you say funeraria? Ooh, a funeral home. Um, would you like to go to a funeral? Home. Home? Uh, with me today? Everybody? No, no thanks. I don't feel like going to the funeral home today. Good job. OK, I'm going to give you that slide so that you can um, add some variety. So remember, you can say, would you like, but you can also use the other words. OK, I'll put that there. All right, next, Emmanuel. Do you want to bait homeless people all the next week? Can you repeat that? Do you want to bait homeless people all the next week? Bait them? Yep. Yeah. ¿Cómo que hacerlos enojar? No, bait de bañar. Oh, beat them up. Oh, class. No thanks. No thanks. I don't feel like beating today. Beating homeless today. Oh. All right. Next invite. Let's hear it. Dana. Do you want to come to my house and clean it, clean it today? <laughs> no thanks. I don't think so. I don't feel like you're hungry. You're hungry. All right, OCL. Charlie. Um, do you want to fight a guy in his Mike Tyson? No, thanks. No, thanks. I don't feel like fighting 
Mike Tyson today. Whoa, we got a lot of fighters. Naomi. Do you like, do you like to stay at home and do my homework all day? Avram. Would you like to swim at the ocean with me today? Yes. <laughs> okay, everybody. I don't know. No, thanks. Good. Nathan Garcia. Um, would you like to take care of my aunt's demons? No, thanks. No, thanks. I no, thanks. Like taking care, taking care of your aunt's demon. Whoa, Germán. Do you want to study algebra or today? No, thanks. No, oh, thanks. I don't feel like studying. Going to study. Good. Has everybody participated? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Good job, y'all. Quiz, 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 quiz time. Would you to the park with me today? And answer. Yeah, number three. And the other answer? Obviously, yes. Uh, all right, here we go. <laughs> number two. If she hadn't yesterday, she glad to go skating today. And vote. All right, the answer is number two. Number two, if she hadn't gone skating, she would be glad. To be honest, I don't today. Vote. The answer is number one. Number one. Good job, guys. Esto es un repaso. Estamos repasando el libro entero. Our final test is on June 22nd. June 22nd, we have one month. Well, here is your homework for today. All right, I will give you five minutes. Five minutes to do page 139. And then we will check 139 in class. You also have Quizlet. Your Quizlet is live. Stan vivo y listo.
All right, well, get your workbook and you may begin page 139. Give me a thumbs up if you are finished with page 139. If not, continue working.
All right, let's check the answers. All right, guys, we're here on the top. Show me with your fingers, one or two, A or B. I never get tired of, get tired. Yeah, of, of going on picnics. All right, number three, I'm not going to work out at the gym today. Yeah, we're looking at B, I worked out yesterday. Whoops, number four. My friends and I love going to, thanks to have dinner. I'd like. Number six. Good job. Would you like? Seven. I'd be happy to take eight. If I hadn't seen nine. Well, Angelica estaba lista. Boom, 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 boom. All right. I won't be able to go to your son's wedding. I hope you understand. And 10. I'm disappointed. Estoy decepcionado. Next page. All right. Uh, here we go. At the top, it says, I really don't feel like eating at the restaurant with my friends tonight. I, Ademi? I ate at the restaurant last night. Good job. Number three, Germán. I don't feel like watching TV today. Mm -hmm. I can't watch. If I hadn't, good job. And the last one? I'd be... I, oh, no B, just I'd, I would. Okay. Ay, perdón. It's a little bit difficult to read. Sorry, students. Here we go. That's better. If I hadn't watched, I'd watch it today. Number two, can we hear it from you? From you, Dana. Ah, esa no supe cómo contestarla, solo puse, do you think uh, would get tired of? Mm -hmm. Yeah, would, and I think it's you, do you think you would get tired of? Ah, uh, okay, this one is a little difficult, going going dancing and then how does it continue dana if you went good job if you went dancing you're an all-star hey now you're an all-star number four can we hear it from emmanuel I've washed the dishes every day this week and I'm really tired of washing them. I will be very happy washing the dishes some other time, but not tonight. Yeah. 
That's what I say. I don't like washing dishes. I'd be happy to watch, to wash. Ay, ay, ay. Good job, guys. You are all stars. We are done with half of our homework. So just do the next page, and that is all your homework. Well, everybody, we have seen a lot of examples of rejection in our class, right? Mucho rechazo, but I just want to tell you, um, I hope you in real life um, never get fearful. Always make that invite and try. Because um, if you try, you will succeed. Dice Jesús, el que toca la puerta se le abre. El que busca haya. El que pide recibe. So I know we've had uh, in, in class muchas historias tristes de rechazo, pero no vivan en temor de eso, eh? Well, I hope you guys have a great day. Happy Monday. I will see you on Thursday. Thursday, Thursday. Goodbye.